I don't hear anyone talk about relationship marketing and, and people really don't understand that the business that we are in, it's a relationship business. You know, he or she that could open up more relationships, he or she that could nurture more relationships is he or she that will attract more relationships. So can we talk a little bit about like the importance of like relationship marketing? How is that different than just regular marketing? Yeah. So, you know, from a relationship marketing standpoint, it's it's really simplistic in the name. It's you're valuing the long-term relationship more than you value the short-term transaction. And the hardest thing in business doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're my business, which is a marketing company selling insurance or selling real estate, really doesn't matter. It truly is the hardest pain point for a business owner. You got to pay your bills right? You've got to afford to wake up every day and go, man, how am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to survive? And so your natural focus is on the short term. How do I get a transaction? How do I get a buyer? How do I get a seller? And what happens is we get what's called in the industry commission breath. And people can sense that. They can sense that in your marketing. They can sense that in your sales pitch. I mean, you know this, you're a master at language, a master at helping people with their sales pitches. And what I find is when I go in, so over the the past decade of going in and and looking at agents' businesses, looking at their drips, one of the things I see is they know they have to follow up. They know they have to be in touch. But when you look at their business and you look at their marketing, 99% of the stuff they send has everything to do with them and nothing to do about their client. It's all, look at me, here are my listings. Look at me, here's my market report. Look at me, here's my accolades. All these things are good. You need them to build credibility. But if it's all you do, why do we think, why do we wonder why consumers, they pick up our postcard, they glance at it and they toss it. Yeah. Or they get our email, they look at the subject line, then they hit delete. It's the same as put yourself in the consumer's shoes. You've bought furniture before, right? You've bought a car before. When your car dealership sends you a postcard, what do you tend to do with it? You tend to go, okay, what's the oil change promo? Is it valuable enough? right? If not, I'm just tossing it because it's called lottery marketing. Most of us do lottery marketing instead of relationship-based marketing, where it's like, I'm going to send something out mass blast and hope it hits the right person at the right time where they're in the buying mode for what's ever on that messaging and they purchase. Relationship marketing is hard for people because you have to buy in that if I care more about Shaddy and his life and what he wants and connect with him personally, then over time, it will pay bigger dividends for me than if I just focus on if he's ready to buy or sell today. And what I have found in my journey, when I talk to top producers, they always come back to the same thing, is they've built a business that is an attractive business, not just a business that has to hunt all day long. Did they have to hunt at a time of their business? course. Did they have to build it? But what they've done now, and they do it naturally. Most of the top producers just, they don't even know what they're doing. They're doing it naturally. They end up building relationships with their clients.